John Walker was born on 29th of May 1781 in his parents' house at 104 High Street, Stockton. His father, John Walker, was proprietor of a grocer's and wine merchant shop at the same address. He had married Mary Peacock in 1766. Their first son, James, was born in 1777 and the second, John, 1779, only lived for seven months and thus, when their son was born, he was also called John, for his father and Mary had three children, Thomas, Jane and Mary. About the age of 15, John Walker was apprenticed to a Mr Watson Alcock, a surgeon who was a physician at the Marquis of London Derry. The experiments that led to his breakthrough came in 1826-27 to 27, and he was working at his home on the quayside with a combustible paste that he was developing perhaps as a material to be used in percussion caps for the gun trade. He knew the mixture would flare up but was not explosive. The eureka moment came when he scrapped the mixing stick onto the hearth of his home and it spluttered and caught fire. This was the breakthrough, not the flammable compound, but re realising it would ignite a spill dipped in it. By 1827, John Walker was selling these friction match lights or matches to the public in 100 in a tin case with a piece of sandpaper to ignite them. Originally, the matches were made of pasteboard, but three inch splints of wood were soon substituted. The friction head was added to the stick by dipping. These matches were very popular in the town, with one early customer being the Stockton to Dalton Railway. John Walker did not patent his invention as he thought it would benefit mankind. However, other inventors were not benevolent and did protect their spin off developments. Thus, was the other, especially Lucifer's, rapidly gained a well established market. John Walker ceased production in the early 1830s. John Walker continued to trade a chemist and eventually brought a house in the mo most desirable part of the town, the square where Mason now stands. He was accompanied by his sisters Jane and Mary. He continued to trade a chemist until he retired and sold the business in 1858. The significance of his invention was major importance as the ability to use and control fire was integral to human civilization. Three of the essential needs of mankind have always been food, shelter and availability of fire for cooking and heating and lighting. Throughout history, the servant who could not maintain the fire or generate a flame would be liable to censure. Over the years, the most practical way to generate a flame was to use a tinderbox. This was where sparks created where the flint and steel would be used to ignite the tinder, which was any dry inflammable material used to charred rags, moss or dried grass. In addition, there were mechanical tinder boxes used by the more affluent, thus when instant fire was in the form of friction lights that could be carried around and used whenever needed, when needed was a major breakthrough. The original friction lights came in around tin, also held fold of sandpaper to strike them. John Walker was practically penniless when he died on 1st of May 1859, aged 78. He is buried in the grounds of St Mary's Church in Norton. Some of Walker's uh, original friction lights are held in Preston Hall Museum and Grounds, where it is also a generic Victorian chemist shop named after John Walker. This is a statue of John Walker's bust, which you can see in the castle gate today. Hope you liked the video. Put your comments down below. Hope to see you next time in the next video.